downtown skyline looks a bit different this evening. The sign at the top of what was the Sun Trust building now reads Vistar, as you can see from the Sky 4 drone, and that is just one of many changes downtown. News 4 Jacks reporter Ashley Spicer tells us how people are reacting to what has changed and what may yet change in the future. From the old city hall being imploded to the courthouse demolished to signs at the top of the high rises changing like SunTrust leaving and Vistar moving in. The future demolition of the landing to come downtown Jacksonville looks a lot different than it used to. Um, seeing everything move is different, but I think the change would be good. I think we need change in the city. Jasmine Bowman has lived in Jacksonville her whole life and says she's glad changes are being made and hopes they make a difference in how downtown is perceived. No one wants to come because it's a dead zone. They think it's just nothing. It's a ghost town. Nothing's down here no more. But I think if we make it another attraction around where the landing is or in that place, I think it'd be better. Another lifelong oh, resident, Brandon Felber, is remaining hopeful with these changes as well. You go to cities like Charlotte and Charleston and Nashville and you can walk around downtown. There's like a nightlife. There's things to do. But if you do that here, I mean, you're going to run into homeless. Um, there's there's really not there's nothing here past 6, 7 p.m. One of those big changes is the skyline. Workers began putting these signs up on Thursday that read Vice Star. The west side of the building should have the name within a couple of weeks. Sun Trust, which was formerly using that building, is moving to the Bank of America Tower. I, I would say the way I feel about the changes is optimistic, um, excited, because I love this city and it kind of hurts to see our downtown not be as awesome as it could be. As far as the other big change coming, the demolition of the landing, prep work for demolition starts in the next couple of weeks. Ashley Spicer, Channel 4, the local station.